Hello, Mr. Bob here with another show and tell video. Several weeks ago, I did a video titled Catch 22 Bolt Catch and the Smith & Wesson 1522 Magazine. And it was a video showing what it takes to get the Smith & Wesson 1522 Magazine to work in the AR platform rifle. Now these are made for the Smith & Wesson 1522 rifle and they work really well with them, but to get it to work with the AR, you have to do a little uh, little bit of work on it. Now, the problem is that the width of the magazine isn't enough to where it will fit tight, and there's a lot of front to back movement in it, which is not a good thing. And you'll notice on these magazines, they have this little tab on them, and this is what pushes the bolt catch up and engages the bolt catch. Now, it's not very wide right there, so there's not a whole lot really catching that bolt catch. So you have to have this fit fairly tight in the mag well to get it to work right. Now to do that, you have to add a shim to it. And what I have here is a shim that I made right here. This is a uh, Gorilla Tape. I got it from Home Depot, Gorilla Tape. It's a, a thick, strong tape, really sticky. And this took 11 layers of it to get the proper, proper size, proper depth of the uh, shim. The shim itself, when it's all together, is uh, 2.76 millimeters. And now when you put it in, it fits in there nice and tight. There's hardly any movement side to side. And what's important is right in here, this uh, tab right there that pushes up on that bolt catch. You can see it working right there. Smith & Wesson has a really strong spring in there, so it's uh, a real positive uh, lockup on that bolt. Now, you can see right here that there is a bit of a space in there, and there's not a whole lot of that tab that catches that bolt catch, so you have to be real careful there. That's what you're, you're trying to achieve is a, a good, consistent uh, push on that bolt catch. And, of course, you're going to get a little bit of wear on that over time, so it may affect it in the long run. But right now, it works good like that. Now... The company Catch-22, they make uh, a couple of uh, products that you can use to assist in using the 1522 magazine in the AR rifle. And I went ahead and ordered them. I didn't have these for my last video, so I wanted to, wanted to test them. And this is their, their shim right there. Got their name on it right there, AR Catch-22. Dot com. Uh, if you need it, uh, this magazine right here, I have one on it already. And it's uh, got two-sided tape on it. It's, a, I guess, a polymer-type plastic shim with the two-sided tape that sticks on there and seems to hold on there really well. And it seems to lock up pretty good, but it does have a bit more front-to-back wiggle than the uh, than you would like to have. I mean, it's it's a lot more than it does with the Gorilla Tape shim that I have. And you can see right there, maybe that uh, there's not a whole lot of that tab that catches that uh, that bolt catch right there. And if 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 you have it pushed out, it, it I mean it's barely catching it at all. So. That's uh, a concern that I have with this shim. Now, I, I bought two of them, and on this shim right here, I don't have it on yet. Uh, I decided to, to use a different two-sided tape on it. This is uh, some tape I got from the auto parts store, and it's thicker than what was on there originally. So I'm hoping that will make up the difference. Now, like I said, this shim right here that I made is 2.75 millimeter. And uh, 
this right here uh, that I put the uh, other tape on it, I think it measures in about uh, 2.70. So it's, it's really close and I'm hoping that will tighten it up a bit. Now, they also make this clip that you can put on and in place of uh, a shim on the on the uh, magazine itself and this shim fits on the mag well like this clips into place and it could be a little bit tighter right there I think uh, not really too good and I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, it could be a little bit tighter but that's I mean when you put the magazine in it of course it uh, it pushes it in and using this though you can only use the 1522 magazines without the shim and I have both magazines I have the 1522s and I have the CMMG magazines and I want to keep on using these even though they don't push the bolt uh, hold open, the, the bolt hold open on the last round on the CMMG magazine comes from the, the follower itself right there. So it doesn't catch the, uh, the bolt catch at all. And it does give you a, a bolt hold open on the last round, but as soon as you drop that magazine, the, the bolt closes. So... Uh, I do like having that bolt hold open feature, the automatic bolt hold open that will work and keep on working after you drop the magazine. So uh, I think I prefer the shim. Now, I also noticed that on different receivers, you know, receivers are different, you know, different manufacturers. This particular one right here is a Aero Precision lower receiver. And that clip doesn't doesn't fit really good. It's uh, kind of loose right there. I mean, it would work when you put the magazine in there, but I just don't like it being that loose. And this other receiver I have here, this is a uh, a billet receiver, lower receiver. And it doesn't fit at all. I mean, it you can't even get it. You can't even get it all the way on there. You can see right there, it's it won't seat all the way down. And uh, I mean, it could fall off real easy. So I don't think that's an option for this receiver right here. So different receivers, it's going to be, you know, a little bit different. So I don't think this is going to. Be my choice because I want to use both magazines, the the Smith and Wesson as well as the CMMG magazine. Now the problem with the CMMG magazine is it's kind of hard to load after about 20 rounds. This is a 25 round magazine. After 20 rounds, it's hard to get those last five in there. It'll kind of wear that thumb out getting them in there. Whereas with the Smith and Wesson, you have the the little slide thing right there that helps load them. Now there's uh, other magazines that you can get. Black Dog uh, Manufacturing has a 32 round magazine that does have that that sliding uh, follower right there. It makes it easy to load, but the problem with them is that uh, and and they fit good in the wheel the the uh, mag well. The problem with them is the spring in the magazine isn't strong enough to push up that bolt hold open. So there's a uh, you've got to do something to make it work. And one thing you can do is uh, catch twenty two does make a lighter spring that goes in your bolt hold open that you can put in that. Uh, will work and make it work better. There's no guarantee on them. And actually in Catch-22's website, they don't recommend that magazine, the Black Dog 32 round. But uh, there's people that have made them work with a lighter spring and 
I even saw somewhere where somebody even took the spring completely out of the bolt catch and the uh, the little plunger also, and it's just, you know, flops around and it will work with that, but uh, I don't think I would recommend doing that. Now, uh, CMMG does make a different version of their their magazine for the uh, AR, and it uh, it probably fits good in the in the uh, mag well. Actually, on this one, I did have to put a little bit of a Gorilla Tape shim on that just to to make it a little bit tighter. Uh, but of course, it does not have the little tab to work the bolt hold open, so. Uh, you don't have the automatic bolt hold open with these. But uh, their new magazine that they have out does have that tab. And, uh, but Catch-22 doesn't recommend them either because they have the same problem as the Black Dog is that the spring tension isn't strong enough to reliably push that bolt hold open to, the, uh, to lock that bolt down. Now, I read and saw somewhere where somebody is using a spring from HK. It's there uh, from their, uh, uh, I think it's a 22 round magazine that HK makes. It's the same length spring, uh, and it's same width and everything. It will work. It's probably a heavier gauge wire spring, and it will work reliably with that bolt hold open on uh, that magazine. Uh, and I think actually they do have a, uh, a actually a, a wider tab right there that catches that bolt catch. So it might be a good, but again, they're, they don't have the, the sliding thing there. And they say that they're like their other magazines are a little bit hard to load to get all 25 rounds in. So, I can imagine that if you put a stronger spring in there, that kind of compounds that loading a little bit more. So uh, the 1522 magazines are probably the, the best option for doing the 22 long rifle in the AR platform. Uh, I haven't had the uh, my hands on a, the CMMG magazine, the new one. So I, I'd like to get one to uh, test it out, but I did a little research on it and to get the magazine and get the, uh, the HK spring is gonna cost, uh, bring the cost of each magazine up to around $40, maybe even a little bit more because you have to have shipping for the magazine and shipping for the spring. So it's getting a little expensive. Uh, the 1522 magazines, I can find them at a local gun shop for, I think they're $29. So that, that's actually a little expensive too, but that's uh, more manageable than 40 plus dollars. So uh, I thought I'd share that with you and, and, uh, and let you know what I found out on these magazines and the Catch-22 bolt catch, which is uh a great thing and also they do make a this is the version one bolt catch right here and this is the the complete assembly now they do make their version two that uh works with the stock uh spr uh bolt catch the ar-15 bolt catch and it's just a piece that clips on to the top of that uh the mill spec bolt catch um, I mean, it, it gives you the same features as this, but I, to me, I prefer just the, the one piece assembly like this. Excuse my fingernail there. I hit the wrong nail when I was doing some hammering, but, uh, I thought I'd share that with you and give you my thoughts on it. And there's, uh, quite a few, uh, YouTube videos on, uh, different, uh, different ways to go with the 22 long rifle, but I just, I've really have fallen in love with the 22 long rifle AR. It's uh, cheap, it's fun, and uh, my grandsons, they like it. Uh, they like shooting the evil black rifle, so uh, 
it was a lot of fun. I might even have to build another one here before too long. So that's all I got for today, and uh, we'll talk soon, and let's go shooting.